After the exploits of Saturday Tally, I guess that was a, an awkward looking fixture but came through it with flying colours in the end. Yeah, yeah, it was an awkward look it was an awkward fixture for us and you know, they, they frustrated us in the first half. Mind you I felt you know, we I've only made one change to the team uh, from Saturday and I did feel that um, you know that, that we probably was a little bit leggy uh, in the first half. Because of that, but once I tinker with it in the second half, we've got a couple of things sorted. We started moving the ball from, you know, left to right a lot, a little bit quicker. We were, uh, you know, we were, um, yeah, we were. I felt once we got our noses in front, we were well in control. So. And uh, Callum came in at centre half, and uh, we kept a clean sheet. So uh, he's obviously done a good job for you there. Yeah, yeah, as well. I think that's his best position. So um, you know, we just have to. Like I say, so it's a squad game when players don't play and they give their shirts up for one reason or another. You know, we've got players that can come in and do a job. So you know, things are going really well in that respect at the minute. Um, yeah, the only one I'm not being able to give game time to at the minute too much is uh, young Jordan. But you know, we'll try and get him 90 minutes this week with the reserves on um, on Saturday because I think he needs a game. So um, we'll, you know, we'll try and sort him out some game time. But yeah, but apart from that, I think everyone's getting enough football. We're sharing it out a little bit, and uh, it's, going, it's going well. And uh, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago, but we really are going to lose Cole for uh, six or eight weeks now. And yep. uh, shame because he's been on a great run of scoring another goal tonight. Yeah, well, it's odd's law, isn't it? It's, uh, you know, well, I know he hit a bit of form just before he uh, before he's got to go to his hospital bed on Thursday. But uh, no, listen, you know, no one's bigger than the club, and we'll survive without him. We've got good strikers here. Um, you know, I'll, 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 we're going to give them as a, a chance to to make a you know make a mark on the team. And, you know, that's, that's, it's a squad game, and that's what we're going to go with. Well, I guess Sarge proved that tonight, coming off the bench and uh, getting a goal late definitely. on. Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, I was saying to the, uh, the the paper guy there, probably Sarge is probably the best finisher we got at the club, uh, natural finisher. Um, but you know, it's the, it's that it's, he's got to apply himself properly each game, you know, to get some gain some consistency. If he can get that, you know, he'll be a good player for us. But you know, he's going to get his chance now, and let's uh, hopefully see what he can do. So uh, Saturday then, uh, a really tough test away at Ardley. Uh. Well, they've got a tough test as well. Um, yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it. Um, we've got we've got a good record there. Um, we've won. 
Um, I think we won there last year, and we, you know, we, we drew there as well the season before, so we haven't lost there too much. You know, we're quite we're quite buoyant going into the game, and we're looking forward to it. So, uh, you know, they don't hold no fears for us. I think we've gone third tonight, which is good. So, um, you know, it's, uh, we just we just have to keep we just have to keep playing and uh, and plugging away and trying to win as many games as we can. So that's what we're trying to do.